Welcome to week one of our Twisted study. Thank you so much for taking the time with your small group to engage with this study. We're using it as an opportunity to not only talk about five of the more misunderstood and often quoted passages of scripture, but also to have a bigger conversation of how do we understand scripture to begin with. It was written in languages that we don't speak and we don't understand at a time that is very different from our time now. And so what do we do with the Bible? We all know we're supposed to read the Bible, right? I'm your pastor, read your Bible. But sometimes we read it and we don't exactly know what to do. So my hope is in the next few weeks as you spend time with your groups, that you have an opportunity to not only talk about the specific passages that, that go with each week, but also to kind of grow your toolbox in terms of how you read scripture and understand scripture going forward. So here we are in week one, and on Sunday we talked about Mark chapter 11, verse 24, where Jesus says, whatever you ask, if you believe it and believe that you have already received it, then it will be given to you. Now, at surface level, that is an extraordinary promise. It feels a little bit like a genie in a bottle that we could just rub that lantern and get all the things we ever wanted. Have you ever played the game with someone? You know, if you had a million dollars, what would you do with it? And a million dollars doesn't even feel that big in this day and age. But if you had a billion dollars, what would you do with it? It's a really fun game to play. But the truth is, if we leave it there, we actually miss what Jesus is asking. So as your group meets today, I'm gonna have you look at Jesus' promise, but I'm gonna have you look at it where it shows up in a couple of the different gospels, which is gonna help show you a little more of the context around what Jesus is really saying and the promise that's really there. And what I hope you discover is that it's not that the promise diminishes, as we look at it more closely, it's that it's actually even greater than we imagined it could be. Because the bottom line is, Jesus wants to give us something that's so much greater than our wants and our hopes and our wishes. I hope you have a good time discussing it tonight. I can't wait to hear about some of the things that come out of your group studies and to get back with you on Sunday to talk about our next topic, which is training up a child in the way they should go.